In this tutorial, you will learn how to send a copy of a document from one library to another library. A link between the original document and the copy is created. Therefore, you can update the copy when the original document is changed. Let's take a look at how this works. For this demonstration, I am working with a document library in the accounting site called Shared Documents. In this library is a document, Sales Expense Report. As a convenience to the sales staff, the content manager of the sales site would like to provide a copy of the form on their site as well. Rather than having two independent copies of the form, I will send a copy of the form from the accounting library to the sales library. Since accounting owns the form, they are responsible for revisions to the form. If the original form gets revised in the accounting library, it will be revised in the sales library as well. So now I'll go to the sales site to see where I will be copying the form. And I will be sending a copy of the form to this library on the sales site called Shared Documents. As part of the copying process, I will need to provide the path to this library. I will copy the URL on the address bar starting from the left up to and including the library name. Then I'll right click on the address and select copy. And now I'll return to the accounting site and I'll go to the document menu for the document I want to copy to the sales site. Go to the drop down menu, select send to and then other location. This first field is where I need to identify the destination library. So I'll delete what's currently in that box and then paste in the address I had copied from the sales site. The file name is already filled in. Optionally, you can change the name of the document copy. In the Update section, select Yes to create a link between the documents, allowing the copy of the document to be updated if the original is changed and then choose OK. The next window confirms the copy from in two locations, so I'll choose OK to proceed. And then when you get the message the copy operation was successful, you can choose Done. And now the copying process is complete. So now I can go and view the copy of the document on the sales site. And here we can see the sales expense report was added to the shared documents library. So next I'll demonstrate updating the document. So I'll return to the accounting site. And then I'll open the sales expense report. So here's the report and I'll just change this shading background here. And then I'll save my changes and close out. Now to update the copy on the sales site, I have to go back to the document menu for the sales expense report. Again go to the send to menu. This time I choose existing copies. A list of all locations containing a copy of the document are listed, but we just have the one for this demonstration. Which I can select or I could select all, which is nice if I had sent copies to multiple locations and then choose OK. A window displays confirming the document you are copying and the locations that are being updated. I choose OK to confirm. After it's updated, I get the message that the copy operation was successful and then I'll choose Done. So now I'll go to the sales site and we'll take a look at this document. And you can see the report has been updated here in the sales site from the accounting site. So using the send to command lets you maintain a master document in one library with copies of the document sent to other libraries that can be updated when the master document is changed.